Hi, welcome back. Okay, now I have a whole new issue to discuss. I want to talk about the plastic bag ban. Okay, mm -hmm. what are your what's your stance on it? Is it effective or not? Okay. Uh, let me start on the banning of uh, plastic, uh, what they call carrier bags. Yeah. Some, I think, some some local authorities, some state, and some uh, ministry promote the planning. Uh, we, however, in the Department of National Solid Waste Management, have a different approach. Yeah? We approach, as I mentioned, a holistic view because we have done the studies on the banning of plastic on certain certain days. Uh, a survey has been done. Of course, most of people agreed it's a good one. But some consumers, but I think about 20% of it, said, no problem, we can pay. Oh. We'd rather pay, rather. <laughs> and some switch their shopping days. They don't shop on Saturday or Sunday. They shop on other days. <laughs> and some, it's worse, they change their shopping mall. Who don't? So you see, how does it go down the way? And if you, if they swap, they are, switch their shopping days, yeah. and then the volume of plastic does not decrease because they still buy from different shops. Same. Uh, and of course, uh, those who don't bother, this is what 20 cent is. So to us, we in the department address on the collection of the waste and their treatment and disposal. The most important is the collection so that it does not be littered around. That's our job to, 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 to collect it and to treat it. Yeah. Now, on top of that, we should put price on this waste. Uh, Haruddin and Ali were telling waste to energy or waste to wealth. You put a commodity price on this waste. If you walk around Kuala Lumpur and some big cities, you can't find aluminium can everywhere. Because people collected it. Our tree ring it just now. No, if, if there's a dollar sign on that waste, People will pick it up. So, aluminum can is disappearing on our street because people knew the commodity price. Now, Harudin let the cat out of the bag. He said, oh, plastic is second one. Then people collect it. But then again, that is the bottle. The pet bottle, that is out of the stream. But the connotation of the flimsy plastic bag, the carrier, uh, people thought it's not having a price tag on that. Now, Holden says that also has a price tag. So if they knew there's a price tag on carrier bag, that also disappear. If they disappear from the street, then the issue of plastic waste is not an issue. Huh? We on the department looks, if still around on the street, on the drain, we collect it. The collection part is a tricky one. We collect what you want to do with it. We want to go to a uh, thermal treatment plant or insulator, as other countries in the world do it, or we can recycle it into uh, what you call it uh, secondary virgin because like now they're using uh, the virgin material yeah. plastic pallet now we can use it as a part mm. of the bottle yeah. and a portion of it come from uh, recyclable plastic pallets no more from virgin material yeah. now what's our role there in the department our department that's in the act we have a solid waste and public cleansing management act we detail out inside that the ministry or the minister have the right, uh, have the power to insist manufacturer of certain product to use a portion of their uh, uh, material from recyclable material. We mean to say that a uh, plastic manufacturer, if they would use one uh, bottle, the government later in future can say, oh, your bottle, 30% yeah. must come from recyclable, recyclable plastic. Content, yeah. We can do it, but we have not done that yet because the collection system is not really very effective as yet. But if the collection system is already in place where we don't have plastic bags or plastic material, plastic going to the landfill or drain, then we can start doing that because the industries are waiting the recyclable to come back. They also don't want to use a virgin material if they can use the recyclable. But if you talk, but you can't get it in the system like authority as is the closed system then you cannot do it so our role in the department of ministry was to ensure the closed system is in okay mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> now i mean well, since 2008 mm. when the state government start to ban uh, plastics on saturday 
I mean we are not sure probably Cik Kamudin can tell us whether there is a decrease whether there is a decrease in the in the, in the, in the use of in the use of plastic bag. Okay? But as Datuk mentioned, people change uh, supermarket, people change shopping day. Eh? Mm. But for us, if you're talking about banning plastic, from our point of view, we are looking at small plastic bag. You know. Mm. But because small plastic bag, you thinking of banning that is I think probably from our perspective is is good because that is the one that basically litters. It doesn't give any value so much. Small plastic bag, we just probably just put one mm. one you know one uh, few things that you buy. But if you buy uh, if you have a big plastic bag, you can recycle. You can mm. reuse this bag as plastic line as bin mm. lining. Mm. So that's okay for on 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 our side. But as uh, Dato mentioned. I want to introduce new thing. Eh? Uh, if we don't have, if we, our increase our rate of uh, our collection eh, mm. of, of of plastic doesn't increase, then we cannot start to move into uh, labeling. Correct. Okay. Equal labeling equal labeling. So, so if our collection start to increase, mm. then we can see a lot of people collecting mm. uh, plastics. We go to a proper areas, collect uh, and they segregate mm. because. Plastics are labeled. Correct. I mean, underneath the, mm. the the bottle, you can see okay, what kind of plastic is that. Then it can be segregated easily and can be used direct. All right. So once we have a good collection system, the rate of uh, collection has increased. Mm. Then we can move to another step, which is what we call as eco labeling. Okay, where we mm. label products and then government can start to come in. Okay, mm. and say that okay for this material for this product we want to see 10 percent recycled content. Mm. Then from there we move into 20%, 30% like what we have been doing in 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 cars. Eh? Yes. In automotive industries, mm. they want to see more plastics can be recycled. Mm. Then you can see a, a lightweight car, safe resource, mm. right? And then uh, all the benefit of of, uh, of the material that we mm. created, <laughs> okay, will can be make full use of it, and we can go into a closed loop, and then mm. that will basically in the end will make us more sustainable. Okay. I put in the statistic before Hydrogen comes in <laughs> because Tuanisei said he wants to, to ensure the collection is good. Yeah. Uh, the good thing is in 2005, there's 24% of plastic in our waste. Okay. 2012, there's 13%. Oh, it's a reduction. Okay. Yeah. So to compound to wow. us, now it's going toward that direction. Uh, the collection is already <laughs> better. Uh, it's for 24 yeah. goes down to 13. Yeah. We didn't it's go uh, 05 to 27 years. It's, it's good. It's the one ringgit per kg for plastic. See? So <laughs> when that's the, thing, <laughs> the, money. Uh, no. the money. So yeah. when we go to the one uh, lesser and lesser. Yeah. Infrastructure the, improvement. Improvement. Uh, then the labeling comes in. Yeah. Then we in the ministry government can come out with the law. Uh, to to ensure right. to but if that's not in place, you cannot come with the law. Then you, you let the yeah. the, the industry right. holding is the, suffers. There must be that carrot and sticks approach. Mm. The carrot is already be, is there. People may not know it because that there's value in recycling. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you also need the stick approach. You need a regulatory push. There mm. must be law in order people to be disciplined. I mm. think there must be a balance of that yeah. for something to work. Mm. Right, Dato? Correct. Do we break now or we go on? <laughs> we go, go on. on. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. Okay. Since we're on the topic, a couple of things that I picked up. Uh, uh, one thing um, on plastics uh, mentioned about, you know, when you look for EVs or electronic vehicles, mm. all right? Uh, you know, electric is green, yeah. but they have batteries. The batteries are now relatively heavier. Guess what? Most of the components of the plastic is plastics to compensate for the increase of weight. So I just want to add on to that yeah. uh, uh, light light saving thing. Uh, back back to the issue of uh, plastic bags. Okay. In fact, there was a study done in the UK because a, a lot of other countries started this thing about taxing, restricting plastic bags. So in the UK, the government, we, uh, they are, I think they made a deci decision, but they they did a study done by universities and consultants. It took over two years. Uh, they did a, between plastic bags, paper bags, your big, you know, your uh, what they call reusable bag. Mm. So they did, they did a study on life cycle assessment, cred cradle to grave, okay. and they find out this done in the UK. You can you can search in the internet based on life cycle assessment on carbon footprint. They found out that the the plastic, which is high density bag, the normal uh, yeah. pl mm. plastic bag, has the lowest carbon footprint. Mm. Lowest carbon footprint because it's the lightest. Okay, it's the lightest. Mm. Okay, versus and and 
that's for single use now if you reuse the the shopping bag has a bin liner you add more value to that to that mm. uh, with due respect to other materials i know paper are good woven cloth are good but has a plastic bag for the purpose of, of a bag actually against conventional wisdom the plastic bag is still the greenest even though it's only used once the other materials because they are thicker they use more resources you have to use them many many times for you to make sure that you are actually being green and reducing the carbon footprint so yeah. now again back to plastic bag we have to break? i think we'll break oh okay fine so continue i will continue after this all right okay. so we'll be right back